changing your MX records to Google. First, why would you want to do that in, if you have a, already a mail set up? Very simple. Um, let's say you register your domain name at a hosting company and you get a nice C panel and you have your email and your website and your FTP and everything set up. But when you check the domain, for example, this domain here. On this web page mxtoolbox.com and then you can see what your mx or mail exchange record is you can see the ip address and then if you click blacklist you can check if if it's blacklisted or not so as you've noticed this ip address is blacklisted and it's blacklisted a couple of times which will result in your emails, your outgoing emails will not arrive at their destination and will be blocked by, by the spam filter. So if an ISP uses any of these guys as a spam filter then your emails will never arrive to where they should arrive. Even though you might have never spammed anybody in the world, if somebody on this uh, server spams then the whole I server and everybody on it will be blacklisted. So most hosting providers have only a limited amount of IP addresses and they throw maybe 10, 20, and maybe 100 customers on that one IP address. So if one of those 100 customers is a spammer and, it get, and the IP address get list, gets listed, then you will be listed and that's bad for business because your emails will never arrive and it, it, it doesn't look professional at all either. So what we'll do is um, we'll point the MX record onto uh, one of the Google MX records. The advantages are Google is not uh, spam or blacklisted so your emails will arrive eventually and it's it's a pretty nice interface. So what we'll do first is um, we'll open Google Apps. So I already opened it here. You can find it by going to google.com slash a and then it automatically opens apps. Now the the corporate version costs fifty dollars per year per user uh, but you can try the standard edition which is free as of yet so let's get started the domain I wanted to use was a um, shop itcom so I can fill in all the information and then continue because I already registered my main domain, I can just sign in for atc-it.com and then go to manage this domain. So here you have your own little portal and you can see it has Google Apps for Anthony Shares Consulting, which means this is my own little portal. If you have your own domain, you will see at your domain name. So just logging in here go into the portal or the dashboard so the first thing you need to do is when you set it up you can use the setup guide which gives you instructions but the, the quick and easy way is go to um, users and groups first and there you want to create a new user so let's add a user okay brush free wood and we call it guy brush so it says a temporary password already. Here, so I can just create the new user. And here you go, information which I would need later, including all of the, the, the services that I have with Google Apps for free. Uh, and those are all on my domain, or at least they, they represent my domain. So after this, you go back to the dashboard and you open the email normally this dashboard would say uh, waiting verification where it now says active because I already verified everything but in your case it would say waiting verification so I'll click on email and then you can see your main email address is going to be a slash and then your domain name and to activate your email address you first need to change some uh, settings so let's go to the instructions on how to activate email. 
So create a user account, which we always already did, and then set up email delivery. So we want to set up email delivery, and these instructions are based on any hosting company. They have some specific instructions for one of the bigger hosting companies, but I'm just using the, the, the general one that, you, that everybody should be able to use. So uh, number four for each MX record enter information according to the entries in the following table. So this is the, the name of the server and this is the priority. Priority means the lowest number in priority is the first. So this is priority one. If this server is not available, it will go to priority two, three, etc. So let's change this MX server address. So we go to the C panel of our domain. So most C panels opened are open on port uh, 2082 so you open it up you log in and then you can go to your mail so here's your mail panel and you want to change the MX entry this is the MX entry so we want to change it for the shop shop that hc-it.com at the moment it's pointing to the local hosting so I want to change it to point to Google so click on it to edit it and then just copy paste server address. Sometimes it needs the extra dot, sometimes it doesn't, depending on which version of cPanel you're using. This version doesn't like the extra dot, so I'm just removing it. And this way I change it to point to the, the new domain. Just change. And voila. The MX entry for the shop has been changed to Google. So as you can see, it has changed and it's often uh, direct that you can see the results so what we're going to do, we're going to do the same I'm just going to click back, back and then domain name MX Google so click MX Google again this time you can see it's pointing to Google and now if we do a blacklist check on this IP address it's all happy days so emails will arrive to my clients and to your clients and you don't have to worry about any spammers on, on the same domain of your hosting so now this is set up you can just use your uh, your own email users but your 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 engine is is that of google if you want you can configure a uh, pop or SMTP so that you can use your local Outlook or your Outlook Express or whatever mail client you use or you can use the online mail client of Google which is the same as Gmail it's a little bit different but uh, same concept and you can open it like this so it's already logging in but I can log out and use our new account which is Skybrush So there are a few things that you need to change up. So we'll do now. And that's just a once off for every new user account. There we go. So now it's, you can see my email address skybrush at abc-it.com. So to show you that it really works, I'm going to just send myself an email. to do and um, yeah if you have any questions just let me know or send me a message uh, you can find this video on, on my own website and you will find it on the resources so for more information or whatever just send me an email send me a message send me a comment thank you